Welcome to Regis Pre-Algebra, Lesson 29B, and this is Part 2. We've just talked about, um, in Part 1, perimeter, and now we're going to talk about circumference. Now, perimeter is the measurement around a polygon with straight sides. It actually could be any measurement around an irregular figure, but that's the way we, we what, what we're learning is to take the perimeter, find the perimeter of a polygon there. Now, the perimeter or the measurement around a circle is called the circumference, okay, around, okay. Uh, cir peri also means around, <laughs> by the way, okay. But circumference is specifically the measurement around a circle. Now, there is a formula that you need to know the measurement around the, cir uh, the circle is going to be either C, the circumference, equals pi times D. Okay, let's talk about what this means. This is the abbreviation for circumference. This is pi is a very special measurement. It's a, a special number. It's a symbol for a special number. The number value never changes. It's 3 point, we'll ask you to just memorize 3.14. It keeps going on, 3.1416, blah, 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 and, uh, and it's an irrational number, okay? So it just keeps going without repeating. Now, this is the diameter. Oops. Now, this was discovered way long ago by the Greeks, and what they discovered was for every circle, no matter what the size, it doesn't matter. Oops, <laughs> that's not a very good circle. I wanted to make something big, that's okay, I guess. Okay, if I measured, if I took a string and I measured the diameter right across the center, that's not a very good looking diameter either, there, and there. And if I cut that string, okay, take a piece of string, measure across your circle, try it. You should try it with a mug at home. You've got some time. And now place it on the rim and draw your string around and pick up the string and draw it around again and pick up the string and draw it around again. You are going to get three times around and a little bit more, about one seventh. Okay, three and one seventh. Okay. If I took this one, this larger circle, I cut the string, I laid it there, and I measured it around to there, wherever it goes. I lift the string, measure it again, lift the string, measure it again, all the way around. When I get back to the starting place, it will be three and one seventh times. Isn't that interesting? So there's this always the same proportion of length in a circle. That's where we get this very important formula. Say it with me. Circumference equals pi. Pi is the special number, 3 and 1 seventh. Okay. Um, but we're going to memorize it in its decimal point, in its decimal um, form. Okay. So circumference equals pi times the diameter. So if my diameter equals 2, my circumference would equal 2 times 3.14 or 6.28. And if this were in inches, this would be in inches. Okay? Very nifty little formula for finding the what? The distance around a circle. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to talk about radius? What if my circle had a radius of 3? What would be the distance? If I started here, what would be the distance around? By the way, it's a little bit tricky to measure the distance around a circle, isn't it? With, it, you know, um, you'd have to take out a piece of string. You'd have to be very, very careful. You'd have to... Uh, do it as accurately as you can, and then you'd have to take it over to a ruler and measure it out. But with this, I can automatically 
calculate it. Well, how would you calculate that? I know that c equals pi, which is a value, remember a number, times the diameter. But I don't tell you what the diameter is, I tell you what the radius is. So, how would I know what the diameter is? Well, do you remember? Diameter is always 2 times the radius. So I can convert this to 2 times the radius. Well, let me write it this way for you. Pi, that number, times, rather than d, 2 times the radius. Now, traditionally, we write this value before this value. Okay. So circumference equals 2 pi r, and that is my second formula. So I've got two formulas, circumference equals pi d, or circumference equals 2 pi r. So if instead I said I have a circle, the radius is 3, find the circumference. How would you do it? Well, I've got two formulas to work with, c equals 2 pi r or c equals 2d, which would I, I'm sorry, or c equals pi d, which one would I choose? I need to choose the one with radius. So this is the one with radius. Plug in all my values. 2 doesn't change, pi is 3.14. Radius is 3. Multiply. I'm going to get uh, 6 times 3.14 is 18.84 inches. See how that works? And that is all there is to it. If you're, um, let me look. I think that should be enough for you. All right, so what is your homework? There will be no additional quiz this week. Make sure you do uh, finish your quizzes from last week and either mail them in right away or mail them in in a week or two. But your homework here, now no, remember, never mail your homework in. Right? There's no need for that. Only your quizzes and tests. 8.20, 1 through 9 all, and 8.21, 1 through 9 all. Now, next week is Easter break. So what does that mean for you? I'm not, you might be feeling like you've had a great break already, but you're supposed to have been keeping up with your regular workload. So next week is our Easter vacation between um, Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. And like I say, you might feel like you've already been having a vacation, but hopefully you've been working very hard on your work. So there will be no tapes next week. No additional homework. Now this is good news for you. And so catch up if you need to, and we will meet you back the week after next week, which will be for us Lesson 30 of the school program. Okay. By the way, classes continue through, if you're looking ahead, till the week of, um, that ends on March 15th. Okay. So whatever that is, the 11th through the 15th. That's our last week of class. All right. God bless you. Hope you're having a wonderful time adjusting well to this different season. Don't let it stress you. What did we say? God keeps us in perfect peace when our minds are stayed on him because we choose to trust in him. God bless. <laughs>